The Marine Mammal Protection Act of 1972 prohibits the taking of any marine mammals. Taking is defined by the act, the hunting, catching, killing, or harassing marine mammals, as well as the attempts of such actions. Harass, defined, to disturb or irate persistently. Deadly noise from BHP Billiton's proposed LNG plant between Oxnard and Malibu must be addressed as the grave risk it is to our protected marine mammals. It may even threaten their very existence. Clearly, low-frequency sound has a serious effect on whales and dolphins because they rely on their hearing for echolocation and communications. Tucked deep within BHP Billiton's Cabrillo Port Draft Environmental Impact Report of March 2006 is this statement. Noise from construction and operation vessels or equipment could disrupt migration, interfere with or mass communications, prey and predator detection, and or navigation, cause adverse behavioral changes or result in temporary or permanent hearing loss. Also in the DEIR are the sound levels in decibels and frequencies that are projected to be emitted by the offshore facility. Broadband sound frequency 22 hertz to 11.3 kilohertz at 192.6 dB, 31.5 hertz at 185 dB, 250 hertz at 180.7 dB, 1000 hertz at 171 dB, and 4000 hertz at 160 dB. It is important to note that sound levels are logarithmic. 150 dB is 10 times that of 140 dB, and 160 dB is 100 times that of 140 dB. Please note that the noise level will reach 192.6 decibels. There have been many research studies done on the effects of sound on our marine mammals and fish, and the research is ongoing. U.S. Navy sonar tests affecting marine mammals show that gray whales avoid sounds over 120 dB in their migratory path. Sound has been suspected in the stranding of whales and dolphins and the separation of mother whales from their calves. Sound has also been implicated in adverse effects on fish hearing and the viability of their eggs. Adverse effects on vestibular function or inner ear balance may have caused the stranding of the beaked whales in the Mediterranean when they were exposed to low-frequency sound at 150 to 160 decibels. According to the National Resources Defense Council, other whale strandings around the world have been associated with high-intensity sound, including in the Bahamas, Canary Islands, Virgin Islands, and North Carolina. Analysis of the Bahamas stranding, which is among the most well-documented and which resulted in lethal hemorrhaging, suggests that whales there were likely exposed to no more than 160 dB for 20 to 30 seconds. Although the Cabrillo Port DEIR states that the broadband sound of their LNG facility would drop off to 120 dB within six-tenths of a mile from the source, it also states that the shallow waters of the Channel Islands would help to attenuate or lessen the sound. This indicates that BHP Billiton is well aware of or suspects the presence of a so far sound channel, as the nearest island is nearly 21 miles away from the sound source. The phenomenon known as sound fixing and ranging, so far or sound channel, exists in all our oceans. In its simplest terms, a sound waveform is trapped into a sound channel that can carry the sound literally hundreds of miles, even across entire ocean basins, with very little loss in its intensity. Sound caught in a so far channel travels downward until it is bent upwards by the denser water at the bottom of the channel, and then it is bent back down by the less dense water at the top of the channel. Thus, the physics of so far are entirely dependent on the density of the water at both the top and bottom of the channel. The Cabrillo port, or floating storage and regasification unit, would be located in water at a depth of 2,750 feet, according to the marine charts. So far channels can run deep at lower latitudes and very near the surface at higher latitudes. Cabrillo port sound blanket could extend all the way up the Santa Barbara deep water channel. As the FSRU is only a few short miles from the shore, 13 miles, and 21 miles from the nearest island, the sound is directly across the migratory path of our endangered gray whales, who funnel into the Channel Islands between the mainland and the Channel Islands. This can create a barrier of high-level sound that our marine mammals have to pass through as they dive, forage, and travel in order to breed and give birth. The whales will avoid this barrier of sound and the noise can effectively create an obstacle to their very survival as a species. The Natural Resources Defense Council, who opposes Cabrillo Port, 
has twice raised the issue of sound affecting our marine mammals, and it has never been properly addressed in the DEIR. Please keep our coast LNG free.